if you like. Hey guys, Missy here. What? Say hey when you jump on. I'm, I'm pretty late because we went live on my um, regular Facebook page and didn't realize it until afterwards. So, <laughs> we are now on the right page. So, say hi when you jump on. Tell me where you're viewing from. Where are you at tonight? We're in North Carolina, if you're, if you're not familiar where we're at. I'm over here. I'm going crazy because I'm so behind on everything. So, I'm going a little nuts. A little nuts. Hey, guys. Hey, Latrice. Hey, Nikki. Where are you guys viewing from? Where are you at? We're going to wait for a bunch of people to pop on and then all oh, these ones are going to hold. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then we're going to start showing you everything, okay? Sorry if you're seeing my head. Hopefully not. <laughs> I'm trying to move everything over. I already started pressing some things so the live wouldn't take so long, but I didn't get as many pressed as I hoped. So, we'll try to make it not as long, but we'll see. So... Hey guys, sorry we're about 15 minutes late. We went live on my regular Facebook page and then realized, oops, yeah, that just happened. I'm, I'm over here trying on the computer trying to pull up the website so I'll be able to hand out links. Also have Amanda that's going to be on here. She's one of the amazing approved designers. And um, she'll be helping answer questions and um, whatever else that she might can do. Um, and then Gabe's going to let me know questions too. So if you guys have any questions while we're pressing, please let me know and I will be happy to help. All right, here's the approved designers. Then we're going to need this one. I'm opening links I'm going to need. So hopefully I can get to things pretty fast. All right, guys, say hey when you jump on. We're going to give it a few minutes since I was late. Hi. So we're going to give it a few minutes since I was late. Um, excuse my mess. You know, I've been hustling all day, pressing, trying to get stuff ready for this live. I printed some stuff, then I printed the wrong stuff, and then I asked Mike for certain sizes, and he cut me the other sizes, so then I had to print again. It's been a day, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm a little messy. I didn't have time to go brush my hair and do anything with it before the live, so this is how I've looked all day. <laughs> all right, um, so I might start it out a little bit better to, earlier, but not much. All right, guys, so um, if you're new, hi, my name is Missy. I am the owner of Out of the World Designs, and um, we specialize really in sublimation blanks, um, and a lot of the things you're going to see today is custom cut here, and um, either myself or Mike or maybe Gabby or one of the customers um, has did a certain shape they want, they tell us what they want, and then we draw it, and we turn it into a vector, and then we cut it on one of our boards. Our boards are unisub boards. Um, they're great. They don't um, have a bad odor to them when you press. They're not from China. They, they don't yellow. Um, they're just really good boards, and we're going to show you tonight how to press some, how to peel the protective film off, and then we're gonna take you over to the tear tray. If Gabe wants to show you, this is the tear tray I have. Um, you can get all kinds of different ones everywhere. Um, this is a large one I have. I have a small one that I ordered in also to show people. Huh, you want me to take this? Gabe's gonna grab it for us. I have a small one also to show you guys how to um, do things on a smaller tray for smaller spaces or um, if you're on a, another kind of budget. Here is one that I had got. Um, I got this one from Target. It was $10 and you can actually paint this wood or stain it, but it comes natural like this. 
So this is just a small tray for small spaces. I have a mantle that I'm wanting to put this on, and then this one's going to go on my kitchen table or my island. But I just wanted to um, show you guys different things you can do and different sizes you can use on the trays. So we're going to be working... Um, on both trays tonight and show you I know lots of you guys probably already on a tray and you're already doing stuff so you guys might know a lot more than what I do of how staging because I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not the best stager but we're gonna wing it tonight okay and I basically just wanted to show you how awesome our blanks are to use on your trays so you should definitely be marketing these to your customers market the blanks as you know tray for the trays okay because they're amazing this is one of the blanks here that I pressed it's one of Tina's designs and um, I just have it on our little feet because we have these little black feet here and I just have it on our feet and it sits up really cute and you don't have to put them on feet um, say you have a cute plant in here and then you just add him beside let me turn the plant around add him right beside of it you can do that too but we're going to show you how to work with all of our um, different shapes and sizes of blanks all the way to this little tiny one on i think the biggest one i got is a six inch that i'm going to show you how to do um and if you have any questions please let me know i have never um staged this thing yet um i literally um ordered this one in first um, and then I just ordered this one in. We've been planning this for about two weeks, the designers and I have. So I haven't had time to stage anything yet. So tonight, while I'm doing it with you guys, is the first time. All right. Um, also, let's see what I can tell you real fast while we're over here. Um, all of the blanks... Almost all the blanks you can use these little feet for if you want to use the little feet. You can even use them on the circles. Whoops. I don't spread it out too far. On the little circles. Just like that. So, um, all of the designs you see tonight, go ahead and get you a pen and a piece of paper now. Or um, open up another browser that you can type in. Because each design you see tonight... You're going to, I'm going to tell you what designer it is, okay? So you're not confused and you're not searching all around for which designer. If you're new, we have an album on our website. And the album on our website says Approved Designers. Well, if you scroll down to that album, you'll see a name for each designer. So basically, I'm going to give you a name. And if you see something, say for instance, this blessed circle here, this is mine. So um, you would write, I want to purchase Bless Circle Missies. So then you will know out of, you search for my designs on Out of the World Designs. So um, you would search on Out of the World Designs for this circle, okay? Um, and the same thing with like this. This is Tina's design here. So um, you just put, oh, I like the Happy Easter um, square frame and um, put Tina's name. So then after you're done um, tonight, you can go and get the designs that you've seen that you really like, okay? We have um, added a few extra sizes onto the website that you guys um, don't know about yet, um, but I will inform you when we get to those tonight. Um, also, everything that you see tonight, um, the different um, shapes, and the different blank, um, let me get my wording right. The different designs you see tonight are all going to be on sale on each one of the designers' page, okay? Not the blanks, the um, the artwork. The digital designs are on sale. They're going to be 25% off, and everybody's already got their code ready. Um, so you don't have to put in any code or anything. You just go to their um, pages, and it's going to be on sale, okay? So you'll be able to save 25% off tonight on the... Um, stuff you see and they, they might have some other things on sale too so just make sure you check and see okay all right so we're going to come over here to the heat press um while we're waiting on everybody to get on tonight i'm going to go ahead and show you guys if you're new how to remove the protective film um if you see here i already have it down here on the um heat press and it's been warming up while we've been chatting and um, I like to go ahead and warm my blanks up 
because it makes the film pull off a lot easier. Um, Gabe's already been really nice and removed a bunch of the film that we're going to be working with tonight. I was trying to get more things um, pressed so the live wouldn't be as long, but I ran out of time. So I'm going to just show you guys, if you lay it underneath here and let it warm up real nice and toasty, this protective film comes off super easy. You just grab a side. Now it's going to be warm, so you might want to wear a glove or have a towel or something. I'm used to it, so it's not too bad for me. And you just pull it off real slow like that. And it just makes your film come off a lot easier and um, you're able to... Um, not worry about chipping or damaging your product because the film is extremely sticky. It Well, it's not. It's stuck on there, but once you take it off, it's not sticky. Then just take a white towel, wipe down your blank. Um, most of the time, you will have a little bit of residue on the side. Um, that's because we cut them in the house. They're not china boards. We do wipe them down, but sometimes they're still a little bit there. If you just wipe it um, just a few times, most of the time within three wipes, I have everything completely off. Um, but just wipe it down and make sure you have a clean surface, okay? And your sides are good and clean. This one looks like it's pretty clean. All right, there we go. And Carolyn asks, what kind of printer do you use? Um, I have an Epson... Um, 570. I have one of the big printers that it is a um, it prints a 24 by 100. All right, so while we're waiting everybody to pop on, I'm gonna grab this fresh sheet here because I need a fresh sheet for what I'm gonna show you. Um, Gabby has made this design, so that go ahead and get your pen ready because I know everybody's gonna want to buy this. Um, this is an Easter Bunny license. Um, and she made this design last night. She's one of the approved designers. And um, she made this design. And we're going to press it on these cards that I got in. Okay. These are, remind me of like playing cards. They're not, um, they're not plastic. Um, they're not metal. So you don't have to worry about um, a kid cutting their self or anything like that. These are going on the website. I think Mike's getting them on there now. For us and um, they're gonna be ten of them for five dollars so they're 50 cent a piece once you press these you should be able to market them for five bucks easily um, maybe some of you can even get more than that um, but these are super cute basically um, you just leave this somewhere where your child can see it Easter day and then they think that the Easter Bunny left their license while they were there at your house so um, Gabby said that she can make um, like Tooth Fairy and other cards if you're interested in them. But she made this one yesterday. It was actually a custom request. And I already had these cards in um, that I was using for another project. So I thought, hmm, let's try it and see. So I'm going to press one. Um, they're double-sided. And these are not MDF or anything like that. They're um, they're just like a basic, like a card. Um, but they're made for sublimation. It leaves a matte finish, which I love. So I basically just taped one side down. I'm going to flip it over. Um, I'm going to cut another piece of paper to stick on top. This is just butcher paper, what I'm using. And I'm going to stick it on top, and I'm going to press it, okay? And I'm going to press it hard. Um, at 400 degrees for 60 seconds, okay? So press hard. All right, there we go. And while that's pressing, um, we'll let that go for 60 seconds, and then I'll do the, we're going to flip it over and do the upper, other side. So this is a good way for you guys that haven't ever did anything, like a double-sided flag, to see. This is the same process um, that you would do for a double-sided flag, okay? Because I know that we ask that a lot, and I did do a video on our YouTube channel for double-sided flags, too. All right, so we got lots of cute stuff tonight. These designers sent me a whole bunch of different designs to press tonight, and it was so hard to pick the ones out that I liked. So um, hopefully you like the ones that I like because I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to pick all these. They sent me so many, and they were so good. So there's a lot of good new stuff out that you guys need to check out. Is there any questions, Gabe? Um. 
Not sure if she's just saying this or asking, but she, Nikki says those won't melt. No. Mm -mm. Nope. I've used these um, for other projects. Like there was a game that my friend needed that I helped her with. Um, we also used them for um, not a naughty gift for a husband for an anniversary. Um, one of my friends used it for that. He got a deck of cards and was able to use it. Okay. So, no, these are made for sublimation. They're not, um, like, regular playing cards or anything like that. But that's what they remind me of. All right, so I'm holding this because my glove's over there. And you just take your tape off of there and your thing. And look how cute that is. She did such a good job. The colors are amazing. And I love this. It says it's one, two, three, cotton tail cottontail trail rabbit hole <laughs> and then and that's the address and it has the zip code and it just has all this cute stuff on here um she did such a good job i was really shocked that she was um got it done she's been so busy with school because she's caught in college so um she got this done yesterday it was a custom request that she had okay so now we're going to do the other side and i'm going to just tape tape it down make sure i've already pressed a, a few cards before and i'll forget to flip it over so make sure you flip it over to the side and just tape it down okay and you just need a little bit of tape it's hot my heat press is so hot it's been on for so long um because i started pressing stuff at around 4 30 and i still didn't get done so imagine that well, I turned the heat press on at 430. So, I'm just putting a little piece of tape on both sides. And then you're going to flip it over like that. And set it in a different spot, okay? You see where I already had this one and you can see the outline? Set it in a totally different spot because if not, you don't want nothing going on this side, okay? So, set it in a different spot. Um, cut you another piece of butcher paper that will fit on top of that. And then just press it again, okay? And once we're, I already had the heat press set for this, so that's why I wanted to press it first. And um, then we'll start pressing the MDF because this one, you need to uh, make sure your heat press is down touching it. It's much thinner than the MDF. So you need to make sure you got a good press. So I suggest when you get your card in, you um, test your press first, okay? If you've been pressing MDF all day, make sure you test it, you know, to make sure you got a good tight. Good and tight. The tighter, the better the press, all right? Any other questions? Carla asks if you could provide a link for the blank sand image. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, let me see. This is Gabby's. So let me go on here real fast. Mm -hmm. Prove designers, Gabby. And don't forget, um, here, let me go on here. All right, let's lift it up. Whoops. I really need to grab my glove. Okay. Yeah. I was just going to do this real fast. And there is your backside. So there's your backside. It says Easter Bunny Rules. Hides all eggs by Easter. Can't be late. Fill baskets to the top. Don't forget the real meaning of Easter. And then she put this beautiful cross there. So I absolutely love how she did this. It is just so adorable. She did a really, really good job. So these are super nice. And you see they're not melted. And and they're nice material. So, um, you know, they won't cut a kid or anything because they're not metal. Or anything like that. So they're really great. I feel like that you guys can. I'll take some pictures. And you can go ahead and start marketing to your customers. But I really feel like you could get. Um, five to eight dollars for these. I mean these are really nice. And you're only going to pay. Um, you're going to pay. T t five dollars for ten of them. So fifty cent a piece. Alright guys. Alright so I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to grab that link real fast. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to post it for you. Alright, so here's the link to Gabby's design.
All right, and then let me see if Mike has the blank on yet. He was supposed to be putting it on for me because I ran out of time. New to old. Give me one second. I'm almost there. My computer's like, okay, we're we're working, but we're not working. Slow. We've had really bad um, issues this week with connection. Here, like the internet connection. All right. All right. I got the link. Let me post it for you guys. Well. Are we going? Sorry, guys. For some reason, it's not wanting. Okay, there it goes. All right, here's the link to the cards. Yes, Nikki. I think Gabby probably would make a custom one. Um, a custom one, if it's something that she can't resell, will be a little bit more because they are very time consuming. Gabe, you were with her yesterday when she was making that. Um, it took most of, oh, I'd probably say six or seven hours um, for her to get finished for that. It was pretty. So um, they are, if it's a custom one she can't resell, then it might take her a little longer to make it, okay? Um, but I know she's doing a tooth fairy and stuff like that. All right, so let's press some of these blanks. Let's press some of these blanks. I'm going to just start filling up this whole heat press, okay? And when the blanks come off, I'm going to tell you whose is whose. Um, so go ahead and get that pen and piece of paper ready so you can write down the names and you can find the blank. I mean, the um, the design you want. Oh, yeah, my, my words are all messed up tonight. Okay. Let me grab some tape. All right, guys, so I like to normally ha not press as much so the lives don't take as long, but unfortunately, I didn't. there's so many, and I didn't get them all done, and I had some sizing issues because Mike thought I needed different sizes than I did. So, yeah. All right, so um, we're going. this clover here is actually a 5-inch clover. I added this, um, the 5-inch size to the website. We normally only have 4, 10, and... Um, either 12 or 14 it depends on how big it goes but i added a five inch to the website so you guys can purchase um five inch clovers now and it fits really good on the trays okay five um, inches is a really good if you want a larger item on the trays all right so i got some blanks here that's already the protective film that's already been removed because gabe was kind and removed that film for us so I am going to press these. This is a wood slice here. Um, and she, I pressed the wrong size. Or did, what size did you grab me? I uh, just grabbed the ones that were down there where you said they were. Where he said it was? Yeah. Let me measure that and see. Because we did not. Where's the, here's the blue one. Look at it. Let me measure this so I can have Mike print this while I'm in here. This is three. I wonder what size I made this. Hmm. All right. I'll go tell Mike about that in a minute. And I'll get him to um, print those out. So let's skip the wood slice because I didn't um, print it big enough. I don't know why. All right. We're going to do this. Now, this is our actually our dog house. Um, but it can be super cute for any kind of house. And... Um, our wonderful designer, um, Zoe did this, it says, um, love lives here. And so it's going to go on the tray and she did three different styles of houses and they are so adorable. I was, uh, when she put them on, she sent them to me. I was like, oh my goodness. I love these so much. So, 
Um, the things we're doing tonight, um, we're going to do um, the Easter and St. Patty's. And I have a little bit of stuff for um, a Valentine's Day, but I know Valentine's Day is about to approach and pass us. So I didn't, I'm just going to put Valentine's Day on the little tray. All right, so here's a cross. Um, it's a five inch also. I added this five inch size to the website for you guys, okay? Normally, um, we have a four inch and then a 10 inch and a 15 inch. So I added this five inch tonight if you want to do a larger size. Um, I like the five inch size uh, items and I like the three inch and the four inch because you can make them then smaller, bigger, and it um, gives it a little bit more dementia. All right, here, let me see. Um, I'm going to press another one of her houses. I'm going to try to fill this up fast as I can, okay, guys? Since there's a lot of blanks, and I want to show you how to do everything. Hey, Gabby. She's not in there yet. I'm trying to get in touch with her to tell her to have Mike print that for me. Okay, and then we have a few of um, what we call our Scrabble tiles. Um, we have those in a whole bunch of different sizes. They come in 4 inch, 5 inch, um, 6 inch, and I'm going to press some 5 and some light. The one that is over there now is a 5 inch, and this is a 4 inch. Yes, I did. All right, so we got six things on the press. I'm putting a piece of butcher paper on top. Um, let me see. I might have to loosen it up a little bit. I should have tested that. And then hard, hard press 60 seconds, okay? So press it hard as you can, 60 seconds, and you'll be good. Um, is there any questions? I'm going to take some of these while we're waiting. Have you showed how to do the family blank? Yes. The family blank? I don't know what blank. Um, can, oh... When you're when you're done, can you come in here for a second? Okay. Um, uh, I'm not sure. the The family with the signs going down. Um, we did that last week on a live. If that's the one you're talking about, and um, we have that on our YouTube channel, so you can watch that one if you haven't seen it. We did that last um, Thursday. If it's the one with the signs that go down. I have the blue one in here probably. The other one is already hanging up on my wall. Alright, let's pop these up. Alright, so when you raise it up, if you see I went slow. So make sure you take it up slow, okay? She said, no, it says family. Uh, one right behind you. No, we yeah. haven't pressed in any of those yet. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull these off. We've been working um, more, our videos lately have been working more on how to, how to do something. Um, and that one's just a, just a press. So, um, I mean, we might press it one day. Um, I don't do retail, so um, I might we might press it one day. We got so many different blanks. I don't know if you guys have not seen it this week. We added a cow, a chicken, a um, a goat. What else did we add? Cow, chicken, pig, um, a mermaid tail. So I'm constantly busy um, getting shapes. Um, so if there's a custom shape you guys want, let me know, and I'll draw it up, and we'll make it into a blank. Look at how cute those are. Um, so basically our live videos, we're trying to do how we're teaching you how to use the blanks. We want to teach you guys how to use them. So um, that's the goal. Um, Gabby, I printed the wrong size for these. Can you tell Mike that these are three inches? So I need the three inch. They'll be like 310. <laughs> I just need just those two. All 
All right, so while Gabe is showing you guys those, I've just been sitting here taping some blanks so we can hurry up and get that, um, get those done. Look at this super cute bunny. I'm so excited for these little bunnies. Um, this one is Zoe's. So I'm just going to, oh, I got the wrong size. Let me grab the right size. Hey, Mr. Bunny, where you at? This is it right here. Okay, so now you see this one, it hasn't been sitting up underneath here, and I'm going to remove the protective film. And if you remember a while ago, it was like super easy to even grab it from the corner. This one, it takes a little bit more effort, and you got to be careful so you don't chip it. And then look how much harder, so much harder to take off. So definitely heat them up. Don't press it. Just set them underneath there. Let them get warmed up, and then you're good to go, okay? All right. All right. Candy said, what size is the bunny? Um, oh, goodness. I, I think this one's a four inch. Pretty sure, because I did a four and a six. So I have the six inch underneath here somewhere. I'm trying to find it. It is, oh, right here it is. Here's the six inch bunny. And that's this one. And this bunny here is um, Kelsey's bunny. I'll tell you guys um, why these are pressing about the other blanks and who each one is, okay? So go ahead and get ready to write down some names in a moment. If you see something you like that you don't wanna forget. So you don't have to rewatch the whole video to remember. All right, just getting her lined up. Oops, I keep twisting it. Quit twisting it, Missy. Bad hands, bad. All right. Now I'll flip her over. Okay. Then we have another gnome. The girl sent me a lots of cute gnomes, so I'm gonna press in all of those. The gnomes, I did some in three inch and I think four and five. I know we added a five today. So just filling this up. You just line it up. And if you're new, if you don't know how to um, know what size you need to print underneath the blank that we sell, underneath the blank we sell, um, in the description, it tells you exactly the size that you need to print your um, your design out, okay? We try to make it really easy for you guys um, because our designers, when they design, they design the largest um, size we offer. So, say we offer a 15-inch in the gnome. You're going to get a 15-inch gnome when you buy their digital, but and so you can use it on the 15-inch or you can use it on a four inch, or you can use it on a one and a half inch earring. So um, you just have to just adjust the size. It's very easy and simple to do. And um, I'm missing an egg. I might not be able to press one of these eggs. Okay, skip it, skip it and move on. So um, yeah, that's how you can find out the size you need. You don't have, you can measure also, but I give you the exact size that I've pressed before. So, sorry that we're having to do a little bit more pressing than I wanted to tonight because I was trying to get most of it pressed beforehand. So, but this is your opportunity if you want to ask me any questions that you can. Kenny just asked, what do you use for the back of the study rings? Um, you just use flat studs. You can you just need flat back stud earrings. You can get them on Amazon or um, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, anywhere has them. And um, you can use uh, some girl. There's a uh, jewelry glue you can use. You can use wood glue. Um, you can use hot glue. You want something that holds really really well. Um, oops, trying to find me a whole piece of paper. All right, there we go. So, butcher paper on top. Hard, hard, hard press. 60 seconds. Oh, so hard I can't push it. Oh, I need to work on these muscles. All right. Let me see. I'm going to try to go ahead and 
I feel like Mike did not give me all the right shamrocks either. Okay. I guess I didn't do a very good job at checking these sizes, did I? You know, Gabby, Gabe, and I checked the sizes. So I'm blaming it on everybody. <laughs> and no, Marissa, we haven't gotten our tape dispensers in yet. No, mm -mm. Um, I did get the um, some of the 11 by 17 pillows in. Those have came in. I have so much stuff coming in. Um, I have um, around 4,000 um, tumblers coming in. Some uh, some new cups coming in. 30 ounce and 20 ounce tumblers coming in. I have pillows, um, a new blanket, um, a frame. There's so much. So it's like slowly coming in. I have sublimation socks that should be in by um, Monday. All right, let's see. I meant to tell you guys who these were while I was while I was pressing that. I did a bad job. Bad job. I feel like my brain, by the time we get to 7 o'clock, is kind of mushy from the day. <laughs> yeah, it's very shut down. Yeah, it's like, hey, let's not do anything else today. Been it long enough. All right, so I'm just pulling these off. Hot. I thought I had pressed that egg upside down for a second. How many of you have trays at home? Do you have a tiered tray? Comment and tell me. Do you? Yes? No? Plan on getting one? Um, it's a huge thing around here. So, um, if I did sell retail, goodness, I'd probably sell a lot of these little things to go on tiered trays. Um, I know I was, whew, on Etsy the other day. I liked buying gifts on Etsy, and I saw some, um, cute things to go on tiered trays, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, our blanks would be so awesome on some tiered trays. So, I'm excited. All right. I'm running out of room over there. Running out of room. Okay. Tara asks, what are tiered trays for? Decor. Here, show her that. That is, um, their, um, decor. People are putting them, you know, in the middle of their kitchen tables, um, on their kitchen island, on maybe a hallway table. Um, I've seen one, um, one that was in a little girl's bedroom. It was so super cute. Um, they're like everywhere. But they change them out from season. So, you know, Valentine's Day coming up, you would have a Valentine's Day. It's just something cute to add to your house to give it a little something happy, you know. Give your house something happy. So, um, people are doing them for birthdays and holidays and, um... All kinds of different things. So, um, my plan for mine is I'm going to change it out. It's dropping stuff. I'm going to... just get more light. <laughs> um, I'm going to change mine out for holidays. Like, Valentine's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day. Um, I have the wrong size of shamrock. It's driving me crazy. Because I thought we checked. Alright, well... I have Shake Your Shamrock that I was supposed to be pressing of Amanda's. I love it so much, but this did, is a big one. Did you take the house off of that big one? Because I didn't peel the plastic off of that big scrabble tile. Or the yeah, I took house. it off. Okay. Yep. So it looks like, unless Mike, let me go see if Mike's already started press cut, um, printing that other one. If not, then I'll have him print it real fast. Um, I'll be right back. If you have any questions, ask Gabe. Mike, did you already start printing that? Can, um, do you see a shamrock on there that looks wrong?
Let's see, this Hello Spring one in the back, I believe this one's the 4 inch scrapple tile. I'll have to ask her how much the tumblers are because I don't know the answer to that one. I'm sure Gabe wasn't singing no songs or nothing, you know, <laughs> keeping y'all entertained. How much did we sell the 20 ounce tumblers for? Um, I think $8. I can't, I don't remember. I don't, there's like thousands of blanks on there. Um, but I know when they come in this time, we did a case last time too. So, I don't know. There's a case option and the case option gets free shipping and then... And, but the tumblers we have coming in this time, they have the rubber bottom. I know a lot of you guys asked me for it, so I made sure it did. I didn't get it last time because um, some people said their rubber bottoms wasn't staying on good. And don't be complaining at me if they don't stay on good. <laughs> but I, 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 I told my supplier, I said, give me the rubber bottoms. They want them. Just give them to me. So I got the rubber bottoms. I got um, the metal straws and the plastic straws coming. We have so much stuff coming. If you're not on our text list, um, you need to get on it, okay? And if you need me to tag you in that where you can sign up for text, let me know. Tell me now. Tag me, tag me, tag me, and I'll tag you um, because when our new stuff comes in, we let you guys know right away um, through text, okay? They're the first ones that know. So we're waiting on those two. I don't want to press these until we got the other ones in, on in here. So let's go ahead. That I think that's the last thing we have to press because these are just extras that Mike gave me. We just have three other things. I feel like I'm, I skipped something. But I don't see anything I skipped, so we should be good. Okay, so I'm going to gather all these blanks, and we're going to take them over here. Let me move... Move this so you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to show you something I did. And Judy, the scroll tile is coming both rounded and squared off. I just yeah. grabbed the squared off ones for this. Yeah, you, they come in both. I like the, everything rounded better. That's just me. Yeah, the one we have sitting up right there is a rounded edge one. Yeah, this is a rounded and this is squared. Maybe I should show it like this. It'll be, see, rounded edge and then squared edge. I like the rounded better, but, you know, everybody likes their own different thing, so. Um, but I wanted Gabe to get one of those. Let me show you. Okay. So, you know, here I'm using the little feet, and you can just lean it up. If you have a cup, or like this one has that there, you can lean them up. You don't have to have anything there, but we do sell these feet um, on the website, um, but you can lean it on things, too. If you have, um, you know, like a plant in here, you can put it up against your plant. And you can add different stuff. And you can just, you know, stack them. So it's easy. But um, I was on Amazon, and I saw these little blocks. And I know Michael's and Hobby Lobby and stuff has them, too. But I got, like, a little six-pack of these blocks. And you can paint them or stain them. I love to stain stuff. Uh, my stainer girl, so I will probably stain mine, but the they're four inches, so our four inch scrabble tiles fit perfect on there, and then all you'll do is take your wood glue, the wood glue like we use, and you just put wood glue it on there, and then you don't have to worry about feet or anything, it's like a little block, it'll stay once it's wood glued, and then you can paint this any color you want, so like this one says love you more, um, I could paint this wood if I wanted to red and it'll just make it pop and look cute. So um, these wood blocks you can find anywhere. Just make sure that you're getting um, the Yavani. We are not getting any taper tumblers and we're only going to have the straights. Um, I just saw your message on <laughs> I can see our Facebook here now. So, um, but there you guys go. I want to show you guys these, okay? So, just look for any, if you like this kind of look, look for any four-inch wood block, okay? And, like I said, I got these on Amazon. I don't remember how much they were, um, but it wasn't much. And then you can just make your own little blocks. So, super cute. So easy, okay? And you could actually do that with any of the blanks. 
like you can make it 3D, you know, paint this a color. Say if your um, kitchen's teal, you could paint it teal and then add our little cow to it and glue it and that would be so cute. Um, you know, same thing with our little, our little chicken. You know, you just paint it a color and then add some glue and then you have a whole nother blank. It's like amazing. So, um, I, this is what this is about. This is all about showing you guys stuff you can do with, you know, with other stuff. So, we want to show you things you can do, okay? So, um, this, these I made here. Um, I didn't purchase these. I actually made them. They're just wooden beads. I found them on Amazon also. And I got them in and I made it. This long string here is actually for a tag. We have, um, you know, regular tags. And I was going to make a design for my tag. And I was going to put it on here. Um, and I forgot and I ran out of time today to make one. So I'm going to add like a little leprechaun um, gold tag to this one. Because this one here I'm going to use for um, St. Patrick's Day. So I left my string long here to be able to add my tag onto it. But these are super nice and super easy to make. You don't have to purchase one already made. I made mine all by myself and I added a little ribbon down here and I just got the wood beads. Now you can use felt beads, wood beads. You can even use pom-poms. I ordered some I ordered this bag of pom-poms too because you can just string these. Take a, a needle and a sewing string and just string them and make little pom-pom ones. And they're lightweight and they're really cute. But I didn't get time to make one of those either because I wanted to show you some springy colors for one. Um, the wood beads are more expensive than the pom-poms by far. Um, the felt, um, I, I have felt on the way to the little felt balls, but they didn't come in on time. I had a lot of stuff not come in on time today, um, even though it's been ordered for a little bit, but I didn't want to wait any longer because this is what we had planned for today. So I just went ahead and said, I'm just going to do the live anyways. Here's the one that I made for Easter and I haven't added a ribbon to the end of it yet. And I'm going to add a tag. This one, I might wind up adding a tag to one side end and then maybe like a bunny to the other end. So, um, I don't know, but I didn't finish it, but we're still going to use it and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Okay. And these beads here are 20 millimeter. They're larger ones. And then these are the little beads. I think these, I don't remember what size these are, but they're smaller, obviously. I think there might be an eight millimeter. All right. So, Mike just brought me those papers. I'm going to grab those real fast. All right, let's and come back over here to the heat press. All right, I'm going to cut off this excess he has. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to help and answer. All right. Okay, um, let's press Gabby's Little Wood Slice, people. All right, so this is Gabby's Wood Slice. These are so cute. So, so cute. All right. Let me turn it around the right way. The Wood Slice is probably one of my favorites. I uh, should have did an 8-inch Wood Slice, too, since I have an 8-inch clearance. So, it would have looked really good up underneath there. So, um... If I do other if I do other things for the tray and I don't do it live, I'll just post pictures so you guys can share it with your people. And I will do some staging um, probably tomorrow when I have some better light because our light stinks in here at night. Um, I'll get out my big light that I have to help and I'll do some staging tomorrow and give you guys some really good um, pictures. So then you can, hey, this is what you need to do, okay? You're going to um, post my pictures on your groups or your Facebook or whatever you sell. And um, you're going to post my pictures and you're going to say, tiered tray blank. Or tiered tray, um, let's see, what? What do, we, what do we call them? Shapes. 
tear tray shapes, tear tray decor, um, something like that. And um, then you're going to give them the price. I'm going to be honest with you. What I would do if I was you guys is I would do two for a price or three for a price. So, you know, one is this price. Two is this price. Three is this price. Because if you're in an area that a lot of people are doing the tear trays, they're going to say, oh, I like that piece and that piece and that piece. And they're more likely to buy from you if you give them a deal. So, say one of your um, four inches, say you're going to sell it for six bucks. I'm, I don't know what you're going to sell it for. But say you're going to sell it for six dollars, okay? Or eight dollars. Say eight. Let's go with eight. Four inch, eight bucks for one, okay? And then you can be like, you can get one for eight, two for 14, and then you could do three. You know, you just keep going down until you're comfortable where you're still making a good profit and it's worth your time. But um, I, I tell everybody always to offer two for one money because when I'm out shopping, I like to go to um, craft shows and I like to purchase. I do a lot of my Christmas shopping that way. And um, when I go, I really like it when people have two four. I will buy a two four before I just buy a single. So, but that's just me. All right, so pop it open slow. Oh, look how cute that is. See, that was so worth um, Mike um, printing that for us. Look at that, shake your shamrocks. How cute. Amanda made that for us. She's probably on here now answering questions. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Gabby. I don't know if Gabby's on or not, but look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, look at those little clovers in the back. Oh, I love that. Okay, I, I really, really wish I would have made that into a big one. This is so cute big. All right. Oh, look at the little bunny. The little bunny with the little... um. What is it? A wagon with some little um, eggs and carrots. And look at the little wheels or sunflowers. How cute is that? All right. So, we got both of those. I'm going to go over all these shapes here in just a bit. Okay? I promise you I am. Look how cool that is. I love these little signs. Um, Tina made all these little signs. And they are so cute. And they're great. Um, for your tear trays. Also, you can use these um, Scrabble tiles um, or the, just the squares. You can use them to add a photo. So, if you want to add a personal photo to one, like Valentine's Day would be super cute. Okay. Look who is here. I love these. Zoe did such a great job on these little houses. They are so cute. All right. So, we got all our pressing done. So now, I'm going to go over the different shapes. We'll start back over here and let those cool down. So, can I ask what sublimation printer you have? Um, I have the, uh, it's an Epson. It's an F570, I think it is. It's the big one. It's like 24 inches by, it can print 24 inches by 100 inches. Um, so, it's pretty large. It's the Epson new printer. I love it. Um all right, so get your pen and paper ready. Are you ready? Are you ready, ready, ready? So I'm going to tell you guys whose shapes are what or do you happen to get heat-resistant gloves? I grabbed the substrates way too soon. I never learned. Okay, the gloves um, you can get at Harbor Freight, Amazon. Um, here, let me show you mine. I have gloves. See, these are the ones my husband got. I think he got, did he get these from Harbor Freight? I'm pretty sure he got these from Harbor Freight. Um, they're way too big for my hands, um, but it's the smallest size he's found. I mean, it isn't way, way too big, but I have little tiny, super tiny hands. So, um, but they do the job, especially when I'm doing cups because they have a good rubber here. But I think he got these from Harbor Freight, but Amazon has them and stuff like that. Look for, um, when you're looking for gloves, look for like barbecue grilling gloves. That's the best thing to do. All right, guys, you ready? I think that are either gardening gloves as long as they have rubber. Gardening isn't as thick, though. Mm -hmm. You're trying to keep out the heat. Mm 
you need something like a oven all right so this one here are you with me mm -hmm. um this one is our um bunny holding the easter egg and carrying it um and this one here is um mine okay and so you can find this on out of the world designs and it's super cute i'm excited and i'll just set set it here and you can just put it up here uh, you can put it up against there i mean he's so cute anywhere on your tray okay and then so that one's mine this one here this little bunny is um zoe's now this is a five inch five inch egg um, this one's a four inch bunny and this is Zoe's little bunny and it's so cute and she has a whole bunch of little eggs that look super good with these two. She made a whole ton of these eggs. They are so amazing. Okay, so this is Zoe's and um, again, you can set it up, put it here. I mean, you can, they sit really good, especially on this tray. Um, so there you go. That one's Zoe's. And then I'll go ahead and show off her egg. She has this egg is Zoe's. This egg is Zoe's. And the eggs fit real good, too, um, on the little feet to hold them up. Um, you don't have to stick them in in feet or anything. You can just set them up against something, um, especially when we put some greenery in here and stuff, too. So those eggs are Zoe's. And then the I Love You More, this one is Tina's. The Happy Easter here, that is Tina's. If I'm going too fast or if you miss something, you let me know, okay? Yes, Candy, the feet are on the site. I think Amanda posted a link earlier. Let's yeah, a little bit. the little feet is underneath um, Sublimation Supplies. We have an album on there that says Sublimation Supplies. So the little feet are underneath there. We have sublimation paper, sublimation tape, and there's a little bunny. This little bunny here is so adorable, and it would, and she has different colors. It's Kelsey's, and she has like a green and a blue and a yellow. So if you did different sizes, um, here, I'll show you, like for this one. If you did different sizes of her, like yellow, blue, and green, oh my gosh, sitting beside each other would be so adorable so um let me get her other bunny here is this is kelsey's other bunny here so this is one her floral bunny and see he is a six inch so that's a six inch and that's a four inch so if you see the difference if you grabbed another one that goes a little higher or another one that goes a little smaller or just these two they're so adorable and see how cute they sit there. Um, and, you know, you can add other things. Uh, we're going to add some floral and some arrangements. This is just a candle I have here. So you can put a little candle. You can add a cup. Um, we're definitely going to add these beads here in just a bit. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the beads. We should definitely put those on before we put the blanks. They're not beads. Wood yeah, wooden beads. All right, so those are Kelsey's. Then we have this little truck. Look at that little Easter truck. It is Tina's. So super cute. And this is a four inch. All right. So there's her little Easter truck. That's Tina's. And then we have these cute gnomes with the little red beards. These are Amanda's. So, so cute. And you could actually just set these two guys together, too. I mean, they would be super cute. And these guys, you know what I think I might do? Instead of a tag on the end of mine, I might get Mike to make me one with a hole. Because we have them with a hole. This is a 4-inch. So, I might use the one with the hole, 4-inch, and then stick it. So, then when he's hanging, it'll be like hanging like that. It would be so cool. So, I think I'm going to probably do that. I can't wrap it around them to get it to stay now, but <laughs> I should have just had a hole made, but that would be so cute. All right, so I'll be pressing that tomorrow and showing you guys that. All right, so here's our little mason jar. This is Tina's, and it says Happy Easter. Super adorable. Little mason jar. Add a little jar. 
okay and then here is the hip to the hop I love this so so much this is Gabby's and it is so stinking cute so cute all right I love that one I have I have I love teal and blue colors so I really like it and then she put daisies up here oh gosh I just love it okay you asked if there's a way to put a hole in the board themselves without cracking the coating no you need to purchase well I mean you might you can try but I wouldn't do it um you, it already comes with holes so you can purchase them with holes or without holes just everything I had Mike do tonight was without holes because I didn't think about um putting a hole for that tag but every everything we have on our website comes with or without holes but I wouldn't try drilling one um, just because the the white coat that's on here is just a thin um, coat kind of like a fingernail polish I guess you can refer it to and um, it can chip I mean you can you can chip it even if you um, dig your fingernail into it so I would definitely not drill it. All right, and then these little tiny eggs. I pressed it a little crooked, didn't I? But these little tiny egg um, are the same eggs that um, Zoe has. So she has the big eggs and then she, little eggs. Oh, that one rolled away. When we get some greenery in here, some of these will stay a little bigger, t better too. You could put it like that too. And then when you put your greenery in, you won't be able to see the little stand. Okay. Where did you get this true stand from? Amazon. This one came from Amazon. Um, here's the Hello Spring. The Hello Spring here is um, Tina's. So cute. And this is a four inch. And again, you could use the little wood block and glue it to the little wood block and paint this. If this was mine, I'd probably paint it blue because my favorite color is blue and she's got Hello Spring in it. So, and I might actually do this one just like that. So, future. All right, and then this one is Every Bunny Welcome. So cute. This is Zoe's. What size was the mason jar? The mason jar was um, a four inch the mason jars of four these little houses are a five and these are zoe's the little houses are zoe's and they are adorable she made the every bunny welcome then she made love lives here and then she made luck lives here so just imagine if i had this little guy wrapped on here you know little hole and then I had this strong, and he would look so cute. Oh, my goodness, with this little guy. Okay. All right. I got to stop. Okay. <laughs> Here's some more little gnomes. This one is uh, Amanda. I think Amanda's. Yeah, Amanda's little Easter gnome. He is so cute. I want to put him on a pair of earrings, but I know we're talking about trays. And then this little gnome here. This is Amanda's. This gnome is actually Melissa's, and she has a design that looks super cute that will look good on a tear tray together because she has this. This is Melissa's designs also, and then she has a space for your name. So our last name is Taylor, so I put Taylor's. Um, and this would be super cute to put in your tray, just like that. You could add your little gnome beside of it. Is so cute, but it's got the same kind of plaid. So that one's Melissa's. Then Shake Your Shamrock. That one is um, Amanda's. And you can um, position it all kinds of different ways. It lays really nice in the tear trays. And these are the five inch. And no, Nikki, the little license cards do not have any film on them. No, they don't have any film. We just um, did it just the way it is. Here's another one of Tina's. So if you guys are writing down these names, this is a Tina. So cute. And that's a four inch. That's another one that could go on a block. I'm going to have all kinds of things on blocks within a couple of days. I'm going to paint these. And then here's a happy St. Patty's Day. I love this one so much. 
Um, and this is Katrina's. I love, love, love it. It's going to look so cute with my beads. So cute. I love it. Okay. So, this one is Katrina's. This would look great on earrings, too, because we have the little earrings. All right. Then we have another egg. This egg is mine. It's a little cracked egg, and it has a little chicken side. And there you go. Send, send you the link. There's the egg. Send you the link to which item, Candy? The blocks. These wooden blocks here, these aren't mine. These are um, Amazon. Okay. And then the... There's a link she was wondering about the tree. Oh, yeah, the tray? Awesome yeah. Amazon. Yeah. I can post all the links when I'm finished to help you guys. This is my cross. It's a five-inch cross, and it says Risen. And I made this one last night, and look how great it looks with this. I really, 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 I don't know if you can see the detail, but it's got like a um, the whitewash um, wood. And I actually made this same wood on um, one of the home designs I made recently, too. So, this is what that wood would look like on that because I haven't pressed that yet. But, there's my cross. I had to have a cross. And, this is mine. So, it's on Out of the World Designs. This is new. I just did it last night. Um, this blessed circle here. This one is mine also. Um, it was a customer request. So, I got this made. This is on a four-inch circle. And you could really do eight inches underneath this one. So you can get a big circle underneath here if you want. But how I want to stage stuff is I want to do it like this. So I want to have some, you know, something behind there. And then my, you know, my circle or my, like, my little chicken, my pig. Like, I'll do it like this. Add my little piggy or something. There's a little oink pig. The little animals are mine, too. So you can find the animals are new and you can find them on the website on Out of the World Designs. I made a cluck, a moo, and an oink. And I made them in the, a large size. So if you're getting a large size, you can do a large. But these are four inches. And they're the um, weathered gray and white wood. So I hope you guys like them. Um, then... The last ones I see here are the little wood slices, and they are adorable. Actually, a wood slice would look really cute hanging from this, too. I'm never going to be able to make up my mind if I want to hang a wood slice or a gnome or a tag, because I really like this one. This is Gabby's. This is her wood slice. I guess those have to have three. I do not need three. And then here is a bunny wood slice. And she made these in a large size, so you can use them for a door hanger, or you can use them for the small ones. Alright guys, so I think that is all the shape, the um, different designs. So that's a lot of designs. I hope you guys are taking names so you know. You can get 25% off of all shops tonight on all these pretty shapes, uh, or pretty designs you've seen. And if you weren't on here... Here is the um, Easter Bunny license we did, and this design is on Gabby's Etsy, and it comes with the front and the back, and then the cards are on um, Out of the World Designs, and they're 10 for 5 bucks. okay? So you get 10 cards for 5 bucks, and they are super nice. They're not metal. They're really good material, so no worrying about any kids cutting their self or anything like that. And we can make, and Gabby, I'm sure, will take some custom orders. If you want to give your kids, like, a little ID or something, maybe she can make a little ID thing for them. Okay, so let's do some, let's do some stuff. Are we ready? So, again, I don't have um, my tag on here. So, these beads, how I've seen it is I picked one, a tear tray that has a hole here, so I can run it through if I want like that, and then have the little tag that hangs to the side. So this is where my tag will go, and then I want my little tassel to stick out a little, okay? 
Um, but this is where, imagine my little tag is here, okay? So maybe my wood slice. Oh my gosh, so cute. Or my little gnome. So cute. See, Mike, I should have done that. Uh, a little bit. Um, I'm not ready yet. And so let's take this on. A, well, I guess we can leave some yellow for St. Patrick's Day, right? So um, what you do is you just need to add things to your tray. So St. Patrick's Day is all about green, you know, yellow for gold. So you can either put your, just put it where you want, you know. I don't, um, actually, let me put this one up here. You know, and I'm, I'm not, I'm going to not lie to you guys. I am not a stager. I am not good at staging, decorating. That is not my forte. I'm good at drawing, designing. These girls are making this hard to pick which thing I want to put on this. And Destiny, she had made this bead. Yeah, I made this bead. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got the beads off of Amazon. Look how cute that is. And who's the artist for the Love Gnome Wood Slice? That is Gabby's. It's so cute. I love it so, so, so much. I think I'm going to set this one over here. All right, y'all, help me out. Which way should we do this? Should it go like this? We'll put the little luck lives here up top. Is that looking good? Tell me what we should do. And then we can put this little gnome right here. Whoops. Let me not drop it. Put the little gnome up here. Whoop. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I got the, I get shakes from time to time. And I got them right now pretty bad. Because I cannot get my gnome to stay where I want it to. Just stay there. I'm, I'm going to get this in just a second. There it goes. Alright. So there's our little gnome. He's the one who lives there. <laughs> Trying to find what other um, St. Patrick's Day stuff we had. A lot, of, a, girl, a lot of girls sent me Easter stuff, so I'm trying to find the St. Patrick's Day stuff. Oh, we got the Shake Your Shamrocks, too. Where can I stick that one? See how fast it fills up with just this? And then we're going to add greenery and stuff, too. Um, I don't know if the shamrock can go up here with this. Let's see. Shake y'all shamrock. It might, I might be putting too much, but I'm just showing you guys, okay, um, what all you can do with our stuff. And I'm going to take lots of pictures, and I'm going to do it lots of different ways so you guys can show it to your people. But let me grab some greenery. Oh, I'm too old. Okay, so this greenery here is what I got. It's got dark. It's got two different kinds of greenery in it. And I got it off of Amazon. And it's huge. I've cut it already a few times. It is humongous. So, you can cut it down to what you want. And then just stick it in wherever you want to stick it in at. To give yourself a little bit of, you know, green. A little bit of grass or greenery or Trying to make this look good, y'all. This is literally my first time doing this, so bear with me. I'm, I can't see that, so I'm trying to see it. Alright. Let me cut some... Where's Gabby's little... She has these little sh shears that just cut through anything, and I need them, and I don't know where they're at. I had them already once. That's not it, but it looks like that. That's definitely Those not it. Green wire clippings. Yeah. In the colorful thing to the left of the. Okay. Yeah. I should know that. All right, got them. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one down some, so then we can just stick little pieces in. 
So you just pick, I really don't feel like we can go wrong here. Because you just add more if you want more. You add less if you want less. And then you just put it in wherever you want it to go. And then reposition your, your stuff. And this one has a lot of leaves. A ton of them. So cute. And, you know, you put as much or as little as you want on yours. Let me run this over here. Um... Remember, I'm going to have my little tag hanging there, so don't forget about that. So, oh, my house fell. So, I'm going to put a little bit up top. And, you know, lots of people, they use um, cups and they use higher things in the back. But, you know, I didn't um, get any um, extra stuff. Um, because I knew I was just going to fill mine up with just what I had here. So, I didn't get any extra stuff for, for mine. Because this is what I wanted to do. What kind of string did you put the beads on? Um, just jute string. I just put it on some jute string. Nothing fancy. Let me see. Um, like this stuff right here. It's just, actually I ordered it off of Amazon too. I'm a huge Amazon shopper, I feel like, anymore, because I can't go out because of COVID. But I just um, got it off of Amazon and put the beads on, on there. So, it looks cute. And when I add my little tag, it'll look cute, too. And I can re... And you can reposition your beads. I mean, they can go all kinds of... I've saw some go like this. I've saw them go down and around. I mean, you bet the best thing for you guys to do to be able to see how you want to position your tray and how to make them look beautiful is to go on like Pinterest or Etsy or something like that and just look up tiered trays and you're going to see all kinds of different things to help you to be able to make your tray look beautiful. But there is, I mean, we only have what, one, two, three, four, five, six blanks on this tray and it is full i added the beads and then i added a bunch of greenery i have this little plant here this little plant came from target and it was five bucks y'all and i got this little plant delivered to my house and so it was five bucks and then i got this little plant here and it was five bucks so um i mean and then my tray is full and it's cute and you know if you know um if i had some you know the little um, coins that you can get at like the Dollar Tree that's gold at um, uh, at St. Patrick's Day and stuff like that and Easter and stuff? How cute would that look with a bunch of those little chocolate coins just sitting all through here? If I had those, that would look so cute with just a bunch of little chocolate coins all through this little tray. So... That's just something easy and simple that you guys can do. And I hope that you like this look. I'm going to get Gabby to come. Gabby. Oh, never mind. I got Gabe's phone. Let me use it. Gabe, put me in your cellular device. I'm going to take a picture of it real fast. I'll try to hide that string a little. And then, you got, and then I'll share it with you guys so you can show your peoples. Let's see if I can get some of this stuff out back. We have so much stuff around here because, you know, this is our shipping area. When we ever, whenever I get to get my warehouse, gosh, it was supposed to happen last year and COVID happened. And COVID's still here, so no warehouse yet. But whenever I get to get my warehouse, then I'll have more space. I'll be so happy. All right, let me see if I can get a good picture now. Or at least a decent picture. I'm trying, y'all. Let me move these beads out of the way. I'm trying to get y'all a decent picture. I'll get another picture tomorrow. You guys got any questions? Let me move this. 
you have any questions, now's a good time to ask while I'm trying to take this picture. My ceiling fan light is like all over it. Here, let me get some close-up pictures without the, well. The more pictures I can get y'all and the better they look, then you guys can get your peeps to give you some orders, right? Teamwork. Okay, so I got a few. Let's do an Easter one. So how quick and easy it is to change it out. You just take it all down. Take the beads off. Just like that. And is that ribbon at the end of the green beads? Yeah, the, um, right here, this little, I just made this little tassel. And all I did was take ribbon and cut um, a few, I think it was three strands of each of the white and the green. And then I took some of the um, jute string and then I um, just tied it together and looped it on the end of the string. Basically, I made a loop here like that and put the string through it and then just tied a thing around just like that. It was so easy. So I hope I make sense. So I just made a loop at the end, a small one. Put the ribbon through. See there? Oops, sorry, I'm not trying to get nobody the finger. <laughs> You're bad. Bad Missy. Bad hand. Bad. All right. So <laughs> then I put the string through it like that and then just tied it. So I wanted to make a little ribbon. I didn't have any color that I liked for the Easter one. And then here I'm just going to hang something from it. I'm trying to decide. Should I hang a gnome? Y'all tell me. Should I do the gnome or should I do the wood slice? Because I'm going to do, I'm going to hang one from it. You vote. Vote yeah. and tell me and I'm going to do it. Have you knocked the tag out of the running? Yeah, the tag's out now. Tag ain't going. I want something, I want something else. All right. So let me put all these over here. All right, guys. So let's add our, and I made the, each one of these. You can do these beads. However you like. If you notice here, I went with like green, white, and then a small, small, green, white. That's how I did these, okay? And then these beads, I did like all of these colors. And then I did some smaller ones. And then all of those colors again. And then some smaller ones. So that's how I did these. And I don't have a ribbon on this. And I mean, you can... You don't have to go up top with it if you don't want to. You can just do it like that. You know, have it hang over. These, the wooden beads are nice because they are heavy. So the wooden beads, you can have it hanging off a little bit, draping off like that. And it's super good, okay? And we can even hide this string here, down here. So we'll hide everything. All right, so these girls gave me a whole lot of Easter stuff. So I'm going to put some Easter stuff on here, but we might be doing a few different Easter ones because they gave me that much. Okay, so here is the Happy Easter from Tina. So let's put that right here. Then I know we got a little house that says, Everybody Welcome. So let's put the little house up there. I'm trying to move some stuff out the way. All right. And then... We can even put another little gnome, Amanda's little gnome here, on, with the house. And then we got to get our little bunny. This is um, Zoe's bunny. Or here, actually, I'm going to put these two bunnies. This is um, Kelsey's bunny. It's got her big bunny and her little bunny. Look how cute that is. Just right there. That is so adorable, okay? And then we still have so much stuff. There's so much. Here's a little truck. You know, the Easter Bunny is in the truck. Look at him. Okay. And then we got the mason jar. I might put them. I might put Gabby's hip hop. I love that hip hop. Let me see. This guy looks good here. Oh, because that truck's big. See, we can even put these, these little tiny eggs here with... With the bunny. Look how cute that is. Okay, like I said, y'all, I'm not professional. So, bear with me, okay? Hmm. 
We got the cross. We're going to add the cross to the side. Maybe I should do it on this side. I want it to go on the side, but this, this, this stuff is in my way. This greenery, but I want the greenery here, too. Oh, that looks great. Okay. I'm sure the beads were from Amazon. Yeah, I just purchased the beads from Amazon. And then here's Gabby's little wood slice. Okay, this one has got so much stuff, I ain't going to be able to put everything on here. So we're just going to take a few pictures, okay? Because there's so much. Because then we got the hip, hip to the hop. I love that. And we got the mason jar. We got these big, huge eggs. We might even throw another egg in over here. I've saw some of these. Y'all probably think I'm crazy, but I have saw some of these where stuff comes out to the side and up the top and everything. It is like, what? All right, what else can we get in here? I think that one's kind of full. Now, if I don't have any up here, but I have some plastic Easter eggs, and you can stick some like little plastic Easter eggs in here. So cute and fill up a little space. But let me take a picture of that. And I'm going to take some of that down and then put some other stuff up so you guys can see. Here, put me in. Okay. All right, let me, take, let me take a few pictures real fast so I can give you guys these. And I'll take some better pictures tomorrow too, but just in case you want to go ahead and start marketing these ASAP so you're not waiting on Missy. <laughs> I rhymed. I am not a photographer. I'm hoping when I get my warehouse and I, I'm going to hire somebody that can take pictures good. <laughs> okay. Now, let's remove some of this. I'm going to put, take down the truck. I'm going to put Melissa's rabbit here, and it says Taylor's. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to add this little resin right there. Put the mason jar here. There you go. Maybe add this home. No, that's, I don't think, I think the home's a little big for down there. Let me take these right here. Let's put this bunny up here. Take down these two. We're going to put up the little Easter egg on the little stand. And now we have bigger Easter eggs. These are just the sizes I chose to um, to do. I think I might put this right here. No, let's put the let's leave the mason jar down there. Oh my goodness! That greenery is stopping me. Stopping me. Okay, I already used that one. I'm trying to take away the ones I've already used, so I won't use them again. All right, there we go. Let's take away this one. There we go. Actually, I'm going to put these two guys up here. Put this one. I'm going to add this one beside of it. So cute. I don't know if, can you see that good? Because the beads are right there. Do I need to change them? Let's change them out. Let's put it like that. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, and here's Melissa's little gnome. And he, he matches this. I probably should take some of this greenery out, honestly, guys. I probably have too much in here. Put her little gnome there. Whoops. Let me move this. Go in the back. I can't get it to stay because of the... Stay. That 
leaf keeps popping up. It's a mean leaf. Okay, well, forget it. Just forget it. Isn't it so cute? So, you guys can just keep adding stuff. I mean, like, there's so much more here I can add. You can put this little blessed round in there. That would look cute on the with this set here. Like that. I mean, you got so much stuff you can take away and add. These designers really um, gave me a lot of stuff. A lot of shapes. So, you guys got any questions? We got any? Mm -mm. Anything I can help you guys with? Sorry, I'm taking some pictures for you. Okay. All right. So, yeah. What's your um, what's your favorite shape for the um, the trays? Comment and tell me what is your favorite shape. Now, this one you can just do. We can remove the beads. We can just add something like just the blast here. Maybe put the resin up there. I mean, this is like so, so many things. If um, Gabby has a little wood slice that has a cross on it, and it would look really cute sitting beside of the Easter, I mean, the cross. And then, of course, we got all these little guys. These little guys. I know a lot of people do the farmhouse look. So, we got all of these. Little cluck, little moo. Whoops. Little cluck, cluck. I need to move some of this. It's too much. Put this in the center. Alright, now I'm just like messing around. Let me show you um, the smaller one. For people on a budget that don't want that can't afford a bigger tray. And there's like all kinds of stuff. This is just a candle holder I had at my house. Um, so you can add stuff like this to um, prop stuff on, you know, um, like for instance, the little Mooga, you can prop him up on stuff. So um, this is a candle holder I have and I've had it forever. It is really old. So um, I'm going to show you a Valentine's Day one here um, on this little one. And you just, you know, take and you don't even have to have the feet. You can just set it up like that if you don't want to use the feet. And then I'm going to use the feet for the little house. I'm sure, yes. Yeah. So are you selling the house? These little houses? Yeah. These are, the houses are on our website. It was, um, the house has been on there since um, Christmas in July, I think. Um, but this design is Zoe's. If that helps any. The design there is Zoe's. And then he would be super cute for this one. If I had a if I had a um, hole in this one. Um, I could string him from there. That would be so cute. Just to string him from there. Alright. Let me grab. Um, grab some of this. Put it in here. I'll help hold him up. There we go. Look how cute that is. Okay. And then. Um, let me grab some, I have some little red beads. Um, it's nothing I made. I'm going to grab them real fast. I mean, you guys can get just a regular strand of beads. There's one of the tape measures. And this is just a smaller tray for people on a budget. Um, that don't want to spend as much money on a larger tray. Where is those red beads? Hmm. That's some red glittery beads. I don't see them over here. Just Have you saw those, Gabe? Mm -mm. It's like a strand of just red.
Well, I don't know where my little beads are. I'm going to go find them. But I have these little fl red flowers here. And you just pick them off and put them in here. This is for like our Valentine's Day one. You just add stuff to it that's cute. Where the heck is that? There's like a whole strand of them. Well, as soon as I can find my beads, I had them over here in the box. Hmm. Let me see if Gabby put them in one of these drawers. Nope, I don't see them. Hey, Gabby's! Do you, have you seen my red strand of beads? strand of red glittery beads you haven't seen them there's just a whole strand of them like i didn't make them or anything no i just look i will look through it twice okay well i might can't show you them but i have a strand gabby likes to like i'll have stuff places and she likes to move it on me so, but anyways, I have a red strand of bead, beads. They're glittery, and you could just stripe over it, and it's, ti it's tiny, so it's perfect. But you just add your greenery however you want, and this is the kind that has a wire in it, so you can bend it, so you can bend it and manipulate it however you want it to go. But this is just something, I'm just showing you something small. If you have a small tray, don't be afraid. You can... You can buy small trays and do small trays too. And it's that easy to add a little bit. And you can leave this natural or paint it. I got this one from Target. This tray was from Target. But I'm sure there's smaller trays other places too. But this one's going to sit on my mantle. And then the bigger one's going to sit on, um, on my kitchen table. So, but there's just a little bit on that one. And, I mean, you can add a little bit more floral here or, or some more roses and, you know, make it look cute. I have these, like, little sticks of beads, too. You could put those on here. I like it with just the one flower, I think. Yeah. Whoops. And I knocked them over. And this one would be really cute, too, to add a little picture, like a picture of you and your husband or you and your um, your partner and just put it right there. So, super cute. I'll take a picture of that real fast for you guys. All right, guys. Do you have any questions? I think we're... You know about done I'm hoping that I was helpful and that I was able to give you guys some good ideas so if you I'm gonna move this cord so I can whoops so I can get a better picture I'm, I might miss dropsies dropsies okay if you got any questions now's a good time to ask them can you take a farmhouse one? A picture of the little farm, the farmhouse peoples? Oh. I need to make some more, um, I don't know if risen goes real well with oink oink. What do you think? We can add, I don't have as many farmhouse blanks, but I can take a picture of like a bot, a bottom tray. And then you can show your people that. How about that? Because I didn't do as many. Um, we have a bunch of farmhouse animals and blanks. But I didn't press as many. Because I was trying to do holidays. So, let me. What size are the big cow and rooster? Um, these are the 4 inch. All of these guys are the 4 inch. Let me scoot this over a little bit. Um, but we have them in all different sizes. I'm going to change this. It is, it is annoying me. That little 
I love how you can bend these so you can put them however you want. And my, my floral arrangement might be overkill here. I feel like I need to just cut some off and just use some of it. Are you sure he wants to see that candle that looks like it's made out of the birch wood? This right here? I, I've i had this for such a long time. I have no clue where I even got it. I have the, it's um I have a smaller one that matches it. Um, I had brought it in here to, um, to help <laughs> stage. <laughs> because a lot of people will say that they just get stuff from around their house to help them stage stuff. So, I was trying to find stuff just around the house that I had to help me stage it. Because I'm not a professional. I'm trying to see how I like this the best. I want to be able to see my piggy good. Oink, oink. I don't know where to put the chicken. Let's put him up here like that. He's all up in that. <laughs> I guess we could still put Love Lives here. This is farmhousey. This is um, Zoe's the little house here. Like that. Doesn't look too bad, huh? Doesn't look too bad. Let me move this. I could have probably stuck the farmhouse stuff on just this one. But the, you, there's like so much, oops, my pig fell down. There's so much more you can use and do to make it look cute. Let me, I'm going to clip this. Put a little bit more green right here. Y'all can probably do a lot better job at staging stuff than I can. I'm just going to take a picture of this, of this bottom one here. Let's add this. Oh. I shouldn't have added it. Now everything's falling. I'm going to have to change out my greenery. I don't think I'm going to be able to, It's too fluffy. I'm going to have to cut some of it off. It's so fluffy it makes stuff fall. Alright, let me do this farmhouse one for you guys. I'm going to take a picture real fast. Sorry if my picture isn't the best because we are... I'm on a cell phone. And it is night, and the stuff isn't, uh, looks pretty good to me. Okay. And there goes my pig again. He don't want to stay up. All right, guys. So, any more questions? Do we like the tear tray option? I'm going to see how, how it looks with them on this little guy. We like the tear tray option. I like it. There goes my, my dog's barking. They must have heard a squirrel. Nope, that one ain't going to fit up there. Let's do these down here. Oh, this would look cute on this one because it's lower. So you could kind of put like how like they're going into it. And then put one. Now, you might want to get a smaller house. This is a five-inch house. Um, so maybe get like a four-inch house if you have a small um, tear tray because this is a small one. It says love lives here and then put your little cow and pig. But now imagine this being on your table though, you know, not sitting here like that. And then you can put some greenery up top. Are there any other designs from farm animals yet? Um, no, I actually, this I did like this morning. Um, the, um, this design here I did this morning and it was really fast, um, just because I was going to go live and Mike had cut all the little shapes for me. And so, um, I did it really, really fast, but it's the gray, um, and white, um, like wood and it's like the white wash, gray wash wood weather would um but i did these i made them into large size so you can downsize them but none of the designers have these yet they don't have the templates for that yet they don't have the templates for the mermaid tail yet i have sent them all the templates i'm sending them tonight so i'm sure they're going to be making a bunch of stuff 
and you guys are going to be seeing a bunch of designs. But remember tonight, 25% off, okay? So every all the designs that you've seen here tonight on the designer's pages are 25% off. And don't forget about your little Easter Bunny license, okay? If you miss the Easter Bunny license, you need to watch this video again and watch the beginning of the Easter Bunny license. They are, um, they come blank white. Let me show you. They come white like this, and you get 10 of them for 5 bucks, and they're double-sided, and they're a matte finish. They're, you don't have to peel anything off or anything like that. You just press them, and they're a nice, um, they're not metal, so they're like a nice plastic, and Gabby made these. And they're, they're just supposed to be, like, when, you know, the Easter Bunny comes Easter morning, you just, like, toss it down somewhere, and then your kid's going to find it and say, Mom, the Easter Bunny left their license, or Mom, what is this? And then you're going to tell them. So, I really feel like that you guys can get anywhere from 5 to $8 for these. So, um, make sure you pick up this design. It's on um, Gabby's um, Etsy page. And you can find all the designer's pages on work as well okay all right well we might have lost you for a minute but anyways you can find all the designs that we did today that we showed you on out of the world designs um if they're not mine then um they are on our approved designer list all right you can find our approved designer list on our website also there's an album that says approved designers and there you can see all the different designers etsy pages and you can go there and I'm going to post a bunch of pictures, so if you guys um, need to know where a certain design is, let us know, and we will let you know who owns it if you didn't um, take notes or if you're just joining us because there's a ton of pictures. So we'll get pictures of everything and get them posted for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed tonight. Make sure you take advantage of the 25% off of the digitals tonight. Um, and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next Thursday. We're going to do a Thursday live every Thursday at seven o'clock. And we also will be doing possibly a Tuesday live during the day. So, um, I'm still working that out, but thanks guys. I hope you've had a good time with us and sorry if it took a little longer tonight. I knew it was going to be a little bit of a long live. Um, if you need anything from me, let me know. And if you have any questions, ask them real fast. Because I am going to leave you here in just a moment. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up my mess a little bit. So when Gabby comes in here to ship y'all's orders tomorrow, she's not flipping out on me. Because we are almost completely caught up on orders. Y'all have drowned us with orders. Um, it's been like Christmas all over again. But we are almost caught up. So we are excited. We are excited. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a good night. Is there any questions, Gabe? Yeah, only the designs are on sale, not the blanks. Unfortunately, um, we only offer sales on the blanks a few times a year, and it's normally like 10% off. Uh, but if um, you share our group and you use your, um, if you sign up for rewards and share your rewards link on other pages and people order, um, you can earn um, at free, free blanks. So information about that at the top of the page in the announcement section, there's a little video showing you guys how to do that. So if you're new to the group, go look at that video. It's in the announcement section, and there's a little video on showing you how to earn rewards, and it's super easy. But I appreciate each one of you guys. You have a great week. And let's say thank you, Amanda. I know she was on here answering a bunch of questions, so, and she was doing a lot of links. So everybody, if you could show Amanda some love and say thank you, Amanda, I would really appreciate it. And um, thank you, Gabe, for our camera guy. All right, guys, have a good week. And if you need anything, let me know. Bye. One last question up there. Oh, what's the question? What's the limit on the discount? The time limit. The time limit? <gasps> I did not ask the designers that. Last live, it was by the end of the night. So let's do this, Judy, okay? I'm going to tell all the designers, since we have a late live tonight ending, to leave it on until tomorrow night. How about that, okay? 
So you'll have until tomorrow night to get um, those designs you seen tonight. All right. Um, let's do eight o'clock tomorrow night. So 24 hours. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night.